the what's happening at the ashram in Hisar, which has almost been under siege for a few days with uh, followers holding the police off. Uh, now in that ashram, it seems that the police are trying to make a final push to enter. They are uh, trying to get inside the ashram. And uh, as you can see in those fairly dramatic shots, which are coming in at the moment, uh, the police have been using tear gas shells to try and clear the way. Uh, the supporters of the Godman have been uh, making a sort of uh, barricade around the ashram to prevent the police from going in. Uh, yesterday, the court once again issued a fresh non bailable warrant for uh, the godman who uh, has a murder case which is pending against him. Uh, the police uh, have moved in, in fact, yesterday trying to get the devotees to leave the ashram. Uh, they cut off water, they cut off electricity, and uh, they have been uh, now trying to make an effort to enter the ashram. Uh, this seems that bulldozers are also being pressed into use here even as we speak. Uh, so very dramatic shots coming from the ashram premises in Hisar where uh, the godman Rampal against whom a non-bailable warrant has been issued has been holed up. Uh, the confirmations have been coming in that he is inside the ashram. Uh, the police have been here since uh, for about the last 36 hours trying to see whether uh, the ashram followers will let him pass. Uh, the, of course the ashram followers refused to do so which was when they started to take more extreme measures seems that now uh, they are this is all reaching the point of boiling over with the police making that push uh, earlier in fact uh, we got the sense that uh, there were many supporters who wanted to leave but were not being allowed to leave um, because for days thousands of people thousands of followers have been staked out at this ashram you can see there the puff of tear gas which is being used to try and drive people out of the ashram in his hour uh, people who have been protecting the self-styled godman who faces arrest in a murder case uh, since late last night and early this morning but however some people have been leaving the ashram uh, so in fact uh, so one of them spoke to ndtv saying that they had been forced to stay Right uh, now, it seems that uh, the, the reports coming in at the moment of certain injuries which may have taken place as the police makes this last push. Uh, tear gas shells, of course, being fired. We saw that puff of smoke there. Um, remember yesterday, there was a spotter plane used to drop pamphlets telling people to leave. People have been saying that uh, the, the so-called godman has refused to let them leave the ashram. Uh, let's go over to Siddharth Pandey, who joins us on the phone line for more on the story. Siddharth, very dramatic images on our screens right now. Clearly, tear gas is being used there. Reports coming in of some people injured. What's happening? Siddharth, if you can hear me, tell us what's happening on the ground. It seems uh, we might have some trouble with uh, Siddharth's phone line there. We'll try and get him back uh, from the ground for the latest on what's happening. But a quick reminder of what is going on here is the police crackdown on the ashram, uh, where uh, which has been late siege. Let's go over to uh, Siddharth Pandey. Siddharth, tell us what's happening on the ground. Siddharth, if you can hear me, tell us what's happening on the ground. Well, right now, just moments ago, the police have launched the operation on the Satlo Ashram here in Barwala, in Hisar. Uh, throughout the morning, they had been preparing for this, but the police were still taking a chance whether they would surrender peacefully, but that's not happened. So right now, the police tear gassing uh, the, the ashram from all sides. And what I can confirm for you is that even those inside the ashram are now uh, pelting stones at the police, bricks and stones being thrown. Uh, for several days, the police have been monitoring what's been happening inside using spotter planes and they had uh, basically seen a lot of stones uh, kept inside and that they feared would be used against them. That's what's happening right now. We also suspect that several people inside may even have arms and ammunition and that is why the police is trying to uh, go in uh, carefully and cautiously. Uh, I've seen several people who are sitting right at the front, uh, women who have been injured, they've been taken away in uh, ambulances. The police had arranged several ambulances as well. So they have been taken away. The police was hoping to try and end this peacefully, but uh, there was no other way but to uh, try and uh, force uh, those protesters to uh, break up.
uh, with yeah, their yeah. Uh, their uh, human shield which they had formed on the uh, roof of the ashram where we've seen for the past couple of days several uh, uh, hundreds of uh, the supporters and devotees lined up uh, with sticks so they are now literally on those roofs using those vantage points to throw stones and uh, uh, whatever they can find at the police the police on the ground trying to now basically break through the main entrance of the ashram the ashram surrounded uh, since yesterday and police also trying to use bulldozers to try and break through one of the walls to get inside